I brought you a would... game. Okay. John told me to come with bits. I don't have any bits, so I had to think of some um, on the spot. Great. Well, I don't so, have a crack team of writers. I think of it on the spot, too. So in honor of uh, John's birthday, I think we should play a game called Who's Older, John or Blank. Okay. Um, we got a Who's Older. Thank who's you. Who's Older. Thank you so much. Who's Older than John. Um, so let's go with the first one. And you guys, you know, I don't know what this is, but you, you answer. We'll see who they think. And you okay. can know for yourself. What people think about Got it. your age versus someone else's. Got it. Um, John Mayer or who's older? <laughs> John Mayer or John Legend? That's actually a good question. Uh, let's see what people say. Who's older? Mayer or John, Legend? John Mayer or Wisps? They put an H in there. That's fancy. John is always older. Uh huh. Yeah, that's true. Oh, uh, We're going to move on to the next one. Legend. Because... They're saying legend. Mayor. Okay, 50-50. JM. They say I'm older. That's two for me. Three for me. Mm -hmm. uh, three to two. It's, hard. it's a hard Mayor, one. Mayor, four to two. Five. Okay, now most people think I'm They both have had old. long careers. Yes. Um, people might think he's older because he's married with a kid. But well, thanks. John Mayer is actually older than John Legend. <laughs> we all move at our own pace, Casio. Just want you to know that. Um, Oh, they only do two more because... You know what would be really weird? If, like, I was singing to a baby in a Pampers commercial, but I didn't have a kid. Like, you have to have a kid of your own to, to, do, be in a to do a Pampers kids. commercial. Yeah. What if I was just like, hey, Pampers had the money, and I was singing, somebody's got a stinky boot, and they're like, is this your baby? I'm like, I have no kids. It's good you have no kids because this wall is for um, not a parent. No. Why? Oh, I forgot to turn the lights on this wall. Oh, we'll do it next week. It's stuffed animals on a wall. Um, it's a little crazy. It is a catchy song, Somebody's Got a Stinky Booty. And I know it sounds like I'm making fun of it, but I'm not, because it is really catchy. But I'm just saying, it is Are, a funny bit of I'm Do you think you'd ever uh, do a little jingle? Okay, I, th I think having kids lets you do really fun shit with the cover being like, my kid, it's my kid's favorite character. So John, you played the big toe in DreamWorks' foot. And, and they'd be like, why did you voice the big toe? And I could be like, my son is such a fan of the Foot series. He was like, daddy, you have to be the big toe and get $4 million for doing the voice in sweatpants in Westwood for three days. Once you have a kid, you could be like, my kid insisted on it. It seems like it's pretty it's a lucrative. Great, it's a great excuse. It seems like it's a pretty lucrative. A kid's an excuse for life. It's lucrative if you're, if, if you're into voice work. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. This game is Who's sm older? smash. Keep going. John Mayer or Kanye West? These are these are like really on the edge. Lisa Frank. Yeah. Dad styles suck when you're a new dad. Yeah, Mr. Mort very uh, sold on the style of. You things. guys really only answers um, for the question. Yeah, please keep Thank the line you. open, please. People are saying Kanye. I think I know the answer to this. Uh, by a few so Jake Wolf knows this. Okay. Jake Wolf is so a... that was cheating, but it, it, they well, are Well, it's the not same cheating age. if somebody knows the answer. John Mayer or cell phones? Who's older? <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. I knew. By the way, you were one of the funniest people I know. I knew you didn't just come here to do people. This is going to get really fun. I'm going to. Can I answer th now? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to say, like, because you know with technology, they're always like, oh, the CD was invented in 1941. It didn't come out for, like, 80 years. Uh, my math is off. I'm going to say that the cell phone is technically older than me. I feel like the cell phone was probably developed in the 60s. What do you guys think? I've never thought I'd be someone to be like, and what are you guys thinking? Well, you're pretty good at it. When you forget to be worried about everything, yeah. you're, you're really good at it. Exactly. Yeah. You have to be really ignorant to yeah. do this. And I am. Mayor is older than cell phones. Actually, um, cell phones are just a couple years older than John Mayer. I knew just it. Just by a little bit. Just a touch. How old were you when you got your first cell phone? So I That's actually... That's your first cell phone right there? <laughs> <laughs> um, my parents didn't let me get a cell phone for a really long time. Mm. So I actually made a brochure um, for why they should let me get the T-Mobile Sidekick. Because I thought that was like the coolest 
accessory and ever. It, and it was in its day. It was everyone really had a cool. sidekick. I, there was a moment where everyone had a sidekick, and and it was just not a. It wasn't a self-respecting piece of uh, technology, but it's all there was. And so, like for a minute, no, like, it was the sidekick or the razor. Yeah, titans of industry mm -hmm. want a sidekick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is really weird. Now you're um, my sidekick. Hey. Well, listen, <laughs> in the Huffington Post world, John Mayer's Cassie David's sidekick. Let's just get that one thing straight. I'm her sidekick. Oh, can you explain? He needs a translator a lot of the time. He speaks in a lot of metaphors. Um, I, don't I can't be his translator because I'm too dumb. Well, you know how like you're not allowed one. to say anymore that like Amal Clooney is George Clooney's wife. You have to say that George yeah, Clooney yeah, yeah. is Amal Clooney's husband. I'm just trying to curry favor. Oh, okay, okay. I get what you're. I'm trying to we curry. We all understand that. I'm that was to, a great explanation. Trying to curry favor with Huffington Post by that saying that was a perfect example. I am merely just a gnat on your shoulder when um, you are here on this show. Well, I did just back to the the cell phone thing. Um, they didn't let me get one, so mm. I started to um, sell gum at school because gum was like illegal at school. Mm. So it was kind of like drugs. Like I kind of was kind of like a drug dealer, but I was a gum dealer. I did that with blow pops. Be the kids love candy. I bought my first wah pedal with the money that I made. I, I bought my first wah pedal in quarters that I made selling blow pops. It was 25 cents each. 25 cents for a blow pop. Five for a dollar. That's a steal. Sour apples were always the first to go. Kids mm -hmm. love disgusting tasting things. Sour apple was the first to go. It's an, invent it's an adventurous kind of thrill seeking flavor. Yeah. And uh, so I know what it's like. We're both very, yeah. uh, you know, yeah, capitalistic. Yeah. I would way. sell some haichu, remember that? Do I remember the mango haichu? Mango haichu? Yeah. Guys? I know the whole history of haichu. Do you know the hi haichu? Why? Why do you know the whole history Because I of Google haichu? everything I like. <laughs> I'm an arduous Googler. And Haichu, have actually, you know, like, you, you can see, like, you can tell how messed up someone's life is based on the header of their Wikipedia thing. So it'd be like, like, early career. And it'd be like, present. It'd be like, private life. And it'll just be like, like, a controversy. D DNA controversy. You'd be like, what is so this? So this is like your own Wikipedia. Wikipedia. This is true. Okay, hold on. No! If, you, if you want me to, I can get the history of Haichu's. Hold on a second. I can do this. This is a clip from your show. I'm so glad we're past that. Well, I don't. I you know honestly what? came in with the intention of distracting you so you wouldn't play the clip. Do you trust me to tell you the history of Haichu? The history of Haichu, one of one of the um, the more uh, the, one of its darkest hours, is that uh, a factory worker was having lunch, and he is dropped. This real? Is this real? This is why. I, if I if you want me to okay, look it up, I'm happy to look you. it up. Tell me. A fact. By the way, will someone look this up and tell us later on? A factory worker was enjoying lunch and dropped some of its like foie gras or something into, and that uh, uh, into the vat. There are the craziest stories in the factory. This is a hundred percent true. The, the the president of Morinaga, the parent company of Haichu, <laughs> <laughs> is so nuts. Issued a statement. Apologize. I mean, the company. But by the way, this is also a Japanese company. Great dishonor was brought to the Haichu people. Also, a rubber glove was dropped into the vat while whilst Haichu was being made. This was a stain on the company's record, and to this day, I think is a dark cloud that hovers over the Haichu people. I might not know how to get out of that story, but it doesn't mean it's any less real. Can anybody? John, you are all, oh, I thought it said, John, you are right. It says, John, you are all right. Well, you just got to trust me. Um, Tachiro Morinaga, he's he's probably the one who. Um, Why do you think people just comment like, hello? Like, what is that doing for any of us? Um, I think they just want to. Just put their name to the universe? It's like a CB radio. You know, when I had a CB radio growing up, I would just talk into the CB radio. And then every yeah, once in a while I'd hear can... stack and i go, he's talking to me, but he wasn't talking to me. But it's fun to go breaker breaker one nine, and that's what hello is. Wait, is just breaker, back breaker. to high two for one second. Mm -hmm. So they're still up and running. Everything's great over there. You know what? Uh, they got over it. You know, we've all had our rubber glove fall into our vat, <laughs> and we all have our statement and our apology and our firings, and we move on and we offer the world our delicious wares. And we move on, and we move, we move past it, and we'll talk about that later on. You can on. put that in your yearbooks, you guys. That's a good yearbook quote. It's part we of my sermon. We all have our again. rubber glove in the vat. Yeah. 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 Didn't Kavanaugh write that? You know. Okay. <laughs> Do you have anything else? Is, are we, are we I think we should move on to the personal questions because okay. we're warmed up, and okay. you know we have a connection. It seems me and the, they the love commenters. you. By the way, 